The SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, the Junior Novelization. Chapter 14 SpongeBob, you're a genius! Plankton cried, clapping him on the back. I am? SpongeBob asked, puzzled. If we can build a time machine, Plankton explained enthusiastically, we can go back to before the formula disappeared, before society broke down, before we became the hunted. SpongeBob looked doubtful. That sounds great, Plankton, he said. But how do we build a time machine? Plankton paced back and forth, thinking. Well, he said slowly, first we'll need a computer powerful enough to calculate the intricacies of time travel. Where will we get one of those? SpongeBob asked. I just happen to be married to one, Plankton answered with a smile. High on another cliff at the edge of Bikini Bottom, Spongebob and Plankton looked down at the chum bucket. It was surrounded by guards, and they looked angry. Those thugs have got Karen tied up in the back room, Plankton said. We're going to have to sneak by them. You know, it's funny. I I've never seen this many people at the chum bucket. I know, Spongebob explained. I've never seen anyone there. Plankton looked exasperated. Now, was that really necessary? Because the food's really bad. Oh, come on, really? Shh, SpongeBob said. How are we going to sneak past those guards? Hmm, Plankton said, thinking of a plan. Mo moments later, a tire rolled down the cliff toward the chum bucket. When it reached the bottom of the cliff, it kept going, rolling right into the middle of a group of guards. Well, what do we have here? asked one guard. The guards pulled out some wooden sticks and metal rods and started beating the tire. Behind them, SpongeBob and Plankton sneaked over to the chum bucket, hidden in a stack of tires. We better hurry, SpongeBob whispered. Those guys really hate tires. Plankton tried to open a small door, but it was locked. We'll never get in, he cried. The door's locked. A team doesn't give up that easily, Spongebob reassured him. Let me take a closer look. Spongebob climbed out of the stack of tires and examined the side of the chum bucket more carefully. When he looked up, he saw an open window. There, he said. That window's open. Come on, Plankton. Time for some real teamwork. Give me a boost. Okay, Plankton said uncertainly. And he saw Spongebob's shiny black shoe coming down at him. Wait a minute! No! Plankton tried with all his might to hold up SpongeBob by his shoe, but he just didn't have enough strength. Squish! Not realizing what had happened, SpongeBob was still straining to reach the open window. Just a little higher, Plankton, he said. Then he realized Plankton wasn't answering him. Plankton? When SpongeBob lifted his shoe and looked at its sole, he saw Plankton flattened across it. Why don't you boost me up instead? Plankton suggested sensibly. Oh yeah, Plankton, SpongeBob said. Good thinking. SpongeBob lifted his shoe up to the open window and scraped Plankton off. Groaning, Plankton landed on the windowsill, then he jumped through the window into the chum bucket. As soon as he hit the door, he ran to the small door and opened it. Come on, SpongeBob, he whispered intensely. Come on! SpongeBob squeezed through the small door and into the restaurant. We're in! He said, then he swung the door closed. Slam! Shh! Plankton hissed. There's a guard over there! 
Clinton pointed across the room at the guard. It was Patrick snoring loudly as he slept in a chair by another door. <laughs> the keys around his neck, Clinton whispered. We can take it from him, but we'll have to be very quiet. Let's walk on the tips of our toes. Clinton raised himself up on the tips of his toes, which SpongeBob had never noticed before, and skittered across the floor. There was a high tinkling noise. <laughs> Patrick stirred in his sleep. Patrick pl Plankton froze, but the high tinkling sound continued. <laughs> he looked back and saw SpongeBob playing a tiny piano. You stop playing that tiny piano, he said. You're going to get us caught. SpongeBob sheepishly put the tiny piano away. Sorry, he apologized. <coughs> They both tiptoed over to Patrick, who was still snoring. The key was on his chest, hanging on a chain around his neck. Okay, Plankton said to SpongeBob. Just reach on and grab that key. SpongeBob took a, a step closer to Patrick and stepped on a floorboard. Creak! Hold! Patrick said sleepily. Who goes there? Well, then he fell right back to sleep. <laughs> SpongeBob gently grabbed the key and pulled it down. Stop! Plankton hissed. Pull it over his head! Oh! SpongeBob said. He lifted the key up to where Patrick's head, but the chain got caught in the folds of Patrick's neck fast. Stop! Stop! Plankton warned. SpongeBob let go of the key. Let me get up there, Plankton continued. I'm smaller. I won't make him wake up. Plankton jumped onto Patrick and climbed up to the key. He, he yanked the chain free, but then the key slid down Patrick's chest, leaping straight, heading straight for his belly button. Plankton, heading straight for his belly button. Plankton leaped onto the key and rode it like a snowboard. Yeah! He screamed as he headed into Patrick's belly button. This is he. This is he and the key were about to to completely disappear into the depths of Patrick's navel. SpongeBob plucked them out, covered in gross lint. Ugh. They had the key. Success! Except, at that very moment, Patrick woke up. When he saw SpongeBob in... When he saw SpongeBob in... Plankton, he pulled out a giant whistle and inhaled, ready to blow a mighty blast. No! SpongeBob yelled, tackling Patrick. The two buddies struggled. Patrick kept trying to put his lips on the whistle, but SpongeBob kept stopping him. Plankton, help! SpongeBob shouted. I'll rock him and you tell him a bedtime story! SpongeBob flipped Patrick onto, over onto his lap. Plankton jumped onto Patrick's belly and talked quickly. Once upon a time, there was a big, fat, pink idiot who went to sleep. The end. Nice try, Patrick scoffed. But it's going to take a lot more than that to... <sighs> and he fell fast asleep. SpongeBob and Plankton lost no time. Using the key to open the door, they burst through to find... Stay tuned for Chapter 15... Coming up soon.